It's new Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back again with another sneaker review. This is part 3 of 4 of my Jordan 13 videos. Uh, this time I'm going to grab a box right here. Again, same type of box as always. Black box, white jump man on the lid. And I'll let you guys have a look at this box label and see the numbers and size and etc. So what we have right here is the Jordan 13 Retro White, Black, True Red, Cement Grey. Style code is 414571 and the colour code is 126. As always, it's US 13, UK 12 on the size. Invoice from Nike.com. And that is the sneakers right there. So what we have here is a very, very cool sneaker. And it's a pretty cool story that goes with it also, which I will tell in a moment. So I'm going to pop up here and let you guys take a one quick look around the sneaker. There we go. So I'll quick spin around the sneaker. So this was perhaps a sign of things to come by Jordan Brand, especially this year, being that this was the Jordan uh, 13 being released in its original true sample form. Um, it was released in a very, very similar colourway in 2005, but there were some differences. Um, if you do want to kind of explore those differences, then if you check out the Big Call Me Jumpman Bostics video, he does a comparison of the uh, 05 release and the 2014 release um, but I'll try and recap that and try and sort of uh, um, recap it and compress it down uh, and let you guys see obviously I don't have the 05 version so I can only kind of tell you the differences if you watch the video you'll be able to see them so it's an Air Jordan 13 and um, this was the final sneaker that Michael wore in his 1997-98 which would be his final season with the Bulls while wearing this shoe, who was the league's MVP in 1998, he was also the All-Star Game MVP in 1998. Another thing by also wearing this shoe, he broke Karim Abdul-Jabbar's record by going 788 cons uh, consecutive games by scoring, scoring double-digit points. So a very, very cool sneaker with some cool um, and very, very impressive feats that were accomplished by Michael while wearing these. Um, Michael's nickname was the Black Cat. Um, by his teammates and also um, opponents in the NBA. So this is because of his speed on the court and his uh, cat-like reflexes as well to get in the passing lanes and things like that. So um, this is probably the sneaker that best, I think, conceptualizes and represents the inspiration of the sneaker. It was Tinker Hatfield who designed this shoe. His inspiration was, like I just said, the black cat, which was somewhat ironic because Tinker didn't actually know that was Michael's nickname. Um, it just shows how in sync the two were um, that he was able to design a shoe off a nickname he didn't even know Michael had. So, to take you through the sneaker, we're going to start with the outsole. You do have your herringbone traction pods uh, in the shape of a paw, which continues off that cat theme. You also have your hologram with the Jumpman right here in black. Um, you've got your black carbon fibre shine plate, and this is really the beginning of where this particular sneaker which is going to be your cement grey differs from the flint grey um, grey toes of 2005. On the grey grey toes of 2005, these are actually grey. On this model, it's black. So that's kind of the first difference that I'll say. Um, and what you have is you've got that red suede or durabuck that was on here. And another difference, if memory serves me right, is this material has been changed to more of like a traditional foam um, with the phylon, whereas in the other model, I think it might have been durabuck which did mean that there would be a lot of bleeding of colour if you were to wear it in the rain or to get it wet etc. Um, there would be a bleed of colour from the, mid, the mud guard or the midsole down onto the um, very lower portions of the midsole on, particularly on the lateral side, not so much on the medial because you've got a little bit less but it was always more noticeable on the lateral side. Um, what you find is that lovely white tumbled leather on the upper. This upper is designed to represent the whiskers of a cat so and um, looking at that, that's why that is. And then the hologram, which was the first ever time that hologram was featured on Air Jordan sneaker at this point, was on there to signify the cat's eye. You do have that um, durabuck wrapping right up the spine of the shoe, right up to the sock liner, which is a nice white uh, and feels like almost like a neoprene material. Um, so the red colour is pretty much still the same on this sneaker. The biggest difference comes in the colour grey. On the 05 release grey toes, it was a flint grey. And on this model, it is a cement grey. Something else that Jumpman Boston picked up on is the leather on this model was a little bit stiffer and a little bit more firm than on the 2005 model. Again, to see all these details, check out his video. Um, the next difference that I'll say is, is the Jordan tag at the lower portion of the eyelets right here. Um, so you've got the Jordan on there and 
white with the black backing and then you have the 13 on the other side. On the 05 release this is more of the maroon colour um, but this is staying true to the original sample um, which was eventually released in 2014 um, and the, another difference being that on the 05 release this is a white I think it's leather if memory serves me right but on the sample and on the 2014 release you do have that continued uh, cement grey suede coming up the tongue um, it is a black jump man on the tongue um, and the tongue feels really nice in that black suede material you do have the grey laces and they do have the grey aglets on there as well you do have this lacing system where instead of using traditional uh, eyelets you will use lace loops which really kind of gives it a much more streamlined fit and really kind of carries off the theme a little bit more by concealing the laces. Um, so, something else that you'll find is you've got that all white sock liner, um, and on the insole itself is the grey with the team red Jumpman. Again, not sure how well it'll be picked up on here. Um, but this is the Jordan 13. Um, like I said, Michael did some amazing things in this. Um, it's probably one of the most recognisable sneakers because of the movie He Got Game, in which uh, Denzel Washington and Ray Allen are going to be wearing the white, red, and the white, black, and red um, colourway of these sneakers, um, which made the 13 even more popular. Again, originally releasing in the holiday season of 1997 with fuller colourways in 98, um, and then in 05, when you had some other models releasing. Um, other colourways, non-OG ones. You had the Lowe's also launching, which I believe are going to be relaunching this year. We've already seen one. Um, I've seen confirmation of the black and red colourway, and I believe the Chutney Lowe's may be on their way back, so fingers crossed for that. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of the 13. Very, very dope sneaker. Very, very happy to add it to the collection. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to pop them on feet and let you guys see how they look. There we go guys, this is the Air Jordan 13 Retro Grey Toes on the feet. Now let's see a side view, front view, other side, and the back. Okay guys, so anyone who's familiar with my video setup knows right now it's time to grab my phone and jump right into my showers. Uh, so if you do want to add it to this list, just ask kindly in the comments and it can be done, not a problem. Um, again, if I've missed anyone, then please do just message me, tweet me, whatever, and let me know. Um, well, first up is Ike Bezzle. Um, you're the reason I do these videos. You were the guy that told me just go ahead and do it. Um, so I did, so thanks again, shout to that. Um, the big brother over there in Detroit, Jumpman Bostick, shout out to him again. I saw you were down on um, the Detroit Tigers field, which was awesome to see where your uh, friendship with Jeremy Guthrie was taking you. Uh, shout out to Hess Kex, the homie up there in Oregon, um, always showing love. Uh, Nightwing2303, um, again, he's like been the go-to guy for years in terms of performance reviews. Uh, Kick Genius, again, these guys have been amazing as well with their performance reviews and I always enjoy looking at their content. Um, Zia X, again a guy from Florida, shout to him. Uh, that Sugar OK, shout out to her. Uh, Just for Kicks 212, um, shout out to him also. Uh, the Real Rare A20, again, he's been getting some uh, sneakers in from Champs recently. I've been checking out his reviews, so shout out to him. Uh, Street Gear and NYC, it's a store uh, in New York, so shout out to them. They always do the reviews a little bit early, and I always like to see them in hand. They always think they do a good job um, with them. Nice Kicks, a store over in Austin, Texas, uh, Sneaker Watch TV, again the website and they always do some interviews with uh, rappers, NBA players, whatever. Um, who else have we got? Uh, Scoop 208, again, love this guy, I don't know what he does, but he gets so many, so many sneakers all the time, always love to check out his, always has great content on there. Uh, Mr. Former Simpson, again, um, a great, great uh, YouTuber, love to um, check out his content, um, really, really good guy. Yo Ante and Yo Ante Kicks, the guy's got two channels, um, so obviously the Kicks one specifically around sneakers, the Yo Ante one can be around mall vlogs etc etc, but always worth checking out, so shout out to him. Uh, keeping it in Massachusetts, so to T Blake, again I've been the homie for a few years now, so shout out to him. Always Fresh Apparel, Jacob J Keller, shout out to him and congrats on the job with uh, Jordan Brand, homie, I know you deserve it. Uh, Jacques Slade, again, always worth checking out, a guy who works with Nice Kicks, it's great to see him going to all the different events organised by Jordan Brand. 
Um, Bullet RC, again, does a little bit of a unique take. He always kind of shows pickups and Carmelo and some fits and things like that. And also his trips to the mall to pick up shoes. Uh, we Are The Trend, pretty much the same thing again with We Are The Trend. He's always shown um, his trips uh, to the mall, picking up shoes, all these kind of things. Uh, Ski TV, again, it's always great to see his content. Kicksonfire.com, kicksinthecity.com, show side of one. Swag on, haters out. Uh, Sam Colt 12, TL Rex 72, Guns and Gloves, the homie over there in Tampa and Florida. Uh, one Veracity, Optimus P517 up there in Washington State. Uh, Sticky213, always not seen many videos from him recently, but he was always great to watch. Blue Cheese, My Kicks Fly, Eddie Wynn. The homie Jason Mark, I was down in London recently um, and got to check out the Jason Mark guys in Nike Town, um, which was awesome. It was great to speak to them. Uh, Sir Eddie C, the homie for life, um, the guy that I've been speaking to for years and years now, it seems. And also another guy that I began to check out, and he's always does some uh, great comments, such as, Get you some! I always love that. It's Richie's Kicks. Uh, so that concludes my shout-outs list. If you have enjoyed it, uh, and you'd love to hear your name on there, by all means, do drop me a, a comment, uh, or tweet me, and let me know what you'd like to be added there, and I'll get it done. I usually try and do it at the time. Okay guys, so this is I'll give you one last look at the Air Jordan 13 Retro Gratos in its true original sample form. Um, this is a 2014 release as I said and it's something that brings a little bit of nostalgia and a little bit of a throwback moment to me. I uh, remember back to when I caught the NBA over here in the UK on Sky Sports um, and I always remember seeing Jason Kidd rocking these with the grey New Jersey Nets jersey which is something I'm going to look, up, look to pick up to wear these so I may um, Keep them DS until I find them. If you have enjoyed this vid, then please do like, comment and subscribe. Until the next vid, which should be part 4 of my Jordan 13 video. I've been Nate Doggy Dog 52 this is the Jordan 13 Retro Gratos. Peace out.